Hello everyone, Susan here. Happy Saturday. Welcome to my craft room. We're gonna create together tonight. Um, my name is Susan Campfield. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you might be joining me on my Sue Stampfield YouTube channel or you might be over on Facebook, either on my Facebook page or my Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Wherever you are, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. We're gonna create a card. We're gonna use one of my favorite layouts. This is a quick and easy layout. It's a great way to uh, maximize your use of your designer series paper. And it works with anything. Tonight, we're gonna do a little more playing with the paper florist dies. The last two videos, we've been playing with those. So we're going to continue uh, creating with them tonight so I can give you even more ideas. Of course, the most important thing is for us to get our handmade cards out in the mail. And you guys are all so amazing at that. So thank you for all you're doing um, to make and send handmade cards to make the world a kinder place. I appreciate all that you do. And I hope here I can give you a little creative inspiration or spark so that you can make even more cards and get them in the mail. Um, we're going to uh, get started here. I did wanna remind you that I do send out free project sheets via email. And so if you want to sign up at SueStampfield.com, click on subscribe and you can choose either blog posts or, um, or the free project sheets. So hopefully I'll get you a leave even more inspiration that way. So let's go ahead and get started. A shout out to my moderator in the comments. Oh, I should also tell you, I lose a lot of things. I'm a messy crafter. And so we're going to... Um, we're gonna lose things tonight. It's just gonna happen. And when we do, we play a little game. When we find it again, we take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what's in your cup. I have my favorite, which is ice water. And uh, especially on these hot summer days, it's perfect. I'm gonna just find my, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do the card and then I'm gonna show the dimensions at the very end along with the card so you can get a screenshot and capture that. So that you can go ahead and make this before the, the um, project sheet gets out. I am using a new microphone tonight, so please let me know in the comments if the sound is okay. And let's go ahead and flip to the desktop camera, see how that's gonna work for us today. Here we go, yay, all the things. Oh good, I'm bumping the camera, that's not so good. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and, um, what are we doing, Sue? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know, okay. <laughs> We're gonna do a little more creating with the paper florist dies. So these dies are in the catalog. There is no bundle with this. There's no stamp set that coordinates with this. Really every stamp set does. And so I'm gonna give you some ideas of some of your existing stamp sets that you can use. Today we're just using a greeting set with this, uh, but there are so many different cards that you can create with these awesome, awesome dies. Um, we're gonna be using, um, Oh, I thought it was missing. <laughs> We're going to use this die uh, once again. Now, in the last video, we created with this die. So let me show you that card. So we made this card. And when I created this die, I was kind of going for the look of like a, I don't know, an orchid, some kind of, a, you know, the beauty of making paper flowers, they don't have to match real flowers. You get to be the artist and make your own flower, right? Um, so these we double stacked, um, just one on top of the other. So the sm slightly smaller one is stacked on the bigger one. And there's a little mini dimensional in between to give us some depth. And we use the cascading ruffles embossing folder and the kindest expressions um, stamp set. And then after the video, I did an alternate. Um, I did more of a kind of a wedding card look. So this one I did in gold embossing for the Oh Happy Day, also from Kindest Expression stamp set. And then I used a little bit of the uh, Distress Gold uh, Designer Series paper. And then uh, one of the, um, what are they called? Mm, hang on, let me look. They are called the uh, pastel adhesive back sequins. They have pink, blue, and gold, and I use the gold one. I like using sequins because they're very low profile, so they make mailing easier. But, uh, you know, sympathy card, wedding card, uh, you know, if you have a good stamp set that has a variety, you can do just about anything. This one I did leave the leaf off because I felt like I had enough going on here with the gold. So we're going to do a completely different look with this flower today. Um, assemble it a little different to give us a different look. The previous video, we uh, used this one right here. 
and we double stacked it to make um, this daisy flower. And then after the video, I did this version. Um, so same look, just uh, didn't do the, didn't use the designer paper and used a different embossing folder on that one. And then in, um, in my monthly class called Crafter Noon, we, uh, we made a fun fold card. It's called the Your Slip is Showing Fun Fold Card. Here's the slip. Woohoo! And then inside. So this die is right here. And then we have the flower die, uh, which was this one right here made with those. And then I also did it in the Poppy Parade in black. For a little more striking look now for more information about these uh this unique fun fold the slip is showing unique fun fold check out my blog suestampfield.com got all the details there um, and there is a very detailed step-by-step -step tutorial if you want to make all five of the slip is showing cards or even just some of them um, and have that printable step-by-step -step instructions with all the photos. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make, oh, by the way, I should tell you, I am pre-recording this today. So um, Jennifer is here live hanging out in the comments. So if I'm not answering your questions, that's why I can't hear them. Um, I will catch up afterwards, but, um, but thank you, Jennifer, for hanging out. I've got, we've got, um, have a very big demonstrator event tomorrow and I'm out to dinner tonight with the organizers and um, so our special guest. So uh, our special guest, I should say, okay, we're going to cut this, these flowers and I'm going to need a middle. Hang on. Let me, Oh, I forgot to get it off my plate. Where is it? Oh, found it. It's right here. So this one actually cuts four middles at a time. So I actually have some middles floating around here I could grab, but I want to show you how I did it. So I would suggest you um, die cut these and then maybe just stick them on a post-it note, a sticky note, so they don't go missing. And then you can use them for lots of different flowers. So let's go ahead and die cut this. I'm cutting it out of fresh freesia and I'm using lemon lolly for our middle. So let's go ahead. All right, so you got to move stuff here. Oh, I forgot to take a sip when we found this. It was kind of a lame found, but mm, we'll use it anyway because I'm thirsty. Oh, I've got my water bottle right by the microphone, so that might make a weird clunky noise. So uh, <laughs> I can't turn my handle because I have too much stuff on my desk. All right. There we go. We're going to make a flower here. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to put this right back on here and set this. Oh, where did this come from? It's amazing how they're all on here and then you go to put them back and you can't find where you had it. It's kind of like playing like a Rubik's cube or something. All right. So I've got my big, bigger flowers here and um, I'm using a really scarred up plate on this. Sometimes the dies will kind of stick to that. Um, so uh, especially with these little teeny ones, that can be a little challenging. What you can do is actually take a sticky note and press it down and lift it up. And then you've got all of them. Or you can use your take your pick tool and kind of switch them off that way. All right. So let's get this party started. So we've got our flowers now, I did a sample one, but I want to change it up a little bit. So let's try. Let's see what it would look like if we did a little bit of um, sponging in the middle, not sponging, blending. So this is the small blending brush. And I've got my Fresh Freesia ink pad here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ink to the center of these flowers. This is a, <laughs> I just opened this pad. It's super juicy. I have an older one. Um, and I decided to open the new one and I'm like, wow, this one's really juicy. So I'm going to get some of that. That's a little dark. So I'm going to get some of that off on my scrap paper here. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the middle, to the center. And then you guys can tell me at the end if you like it better. I've got a sample that I did without doing the sponging. And we're going to try it with sponging. It's brushes, Susan, blending brushes. So these are like little... It reminds me of, of the look reminds me of sponging, but it's actually a brush. So these are little fibers in here and we have these in two sizes. I'm using the small one because that gives me a little more control about where I apply the ink. So, um, all right, so we've got that ink applied. Let's see if Susan can track down a bone folder. Oh gosh. Oh, here's my holder. Ah, there it is. Found it. Take a sip, everyone. We have our second founded of the night. 
<clears throat> Got to keep my water away from the microphone so I don't uh, be too loud here. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple options. We're going to curl the petals because that's going to give us more of a 3D look. Um, now we can, um, with this flower, I curled them up. And with this flower, I curled them down. And the last time we used this flower, I curled them down. I'm going to go down again. Oh, no, I'm going to go up. Okay, I looked at my sample. Oh, no, I went up. All right, so we're going to take the slightly bigger one. And I'm just very gently, you don't want to tear off your petals. So just gently hold it in the center and gently tug and roll it on your bone folder. Just go nice and slow. And there we have, oh, I get this one a little bit more. We just have an upward curl to our petals. And then we're going to do the same with this one. There we go. All right, so I've got the big and the small. And this is a five petal flower. And it's kind of uh, three on the top and two coming down. So we're going to set that aside. I think we're done with our scrap paper here. Let's put our flower together. So I found my middles because I didn't even lose them because they were all collected on that post-it note. But we'll take a sip anyway. It's kind of amazing. I haven't lost them yet because they're so tiny. But what I have lost is my take your pick tool. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. Okay. All right. Take another sip, guys. Hmm. All right, so this is the take your pick tool. Um, I've got a pokey end, I've got the putty end here, super useful with these little uh, uh, pieces. And I'm also gonna grab my glue dots. Hmm. Where are my glue dots? Sorry, I am all half packed up for a big event tomorrow. Oh, here they are, found them. Found them, I thought I had gotten a new a new pack out, but I had not. All right, so take a sip, everyone. While you're taking a sip, I'm going to pull out this glue dot. It is super hot and humid here in Minnesota and has been all week. So my glue dots are super smushy and sticky, which I guess is a good thing to have in a glue dot. It doesn't want to stick to this ink. So I'm going to uh, flip this over and I'm going to put it on the back side of this one. Ha! I also have a little bit of um, sticky residue on my poker, which is not helping me out. I probably should clean that off with some Goo Gone. Let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, adhesive remover is. I know people have like their certain favorite things that they use. So I'm just using, and I'm always ready to, I'm always looking for new ideas on that. All right, so I've sandwiched those together with the glue dot, and you can see I staggered it. So again, this one, I stacked them right on top of each other and separated them with a, a dimensional. This one, I'm spreading it out, which gives me a little bit more of a tropical flower look. And then I've got my um, my little guy here. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up. <laughs> sure I am. It's sticking good, there we go. With my putty end of my uh, Take Your Pick tool. And I'm just gonna put, uh, now I can put a, a wadded up glue dot in the center. I'm just gonna put a dot, a dot <laughs> of multi-purpose liquid glue. Can you guys see that? Is that super tiny? Let's see if I can zoom up a little bit. And I'll hold it up here. I don't know if that really zoomed for you. Yeah, I think it did. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and pop this on. I've got my putty on the wrong end. I want my putty on the front end. And you can tell the front end because it's raised up and the back is kind of uh, sunk in a little bit. All right, so we've got our center there. Isn't that a sweet little flower? Really tropical. It looks like something you'd find in Hawaii, right? And so let's go ahead and make our quick and simple card here. So I've got some fresh freesia cardstock. I've got some of the masterfully made designer series paper. I'm realizing I neglected to put the size for this in my um, directions, but I'll tell you that in a second here. Let's, um, you know, before we start constructing our card, let's quickly stamp our greeting. Um, for my greeting, I'm going to use this stamp set. It's been around for a while. It's called Very Best Occasions. And what I like about this set, it has inside and outside sentiments. So, um, 
love you, miss you, uh, love you, mean it. Like you can kind of tell if you match the fonts together. Um, and so we've got two Christmas ones here outside, inside. We've got uh, a birthday, happy birthday, and then sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. And um, thinking of you with comfort and love, which is nice for a sympathy card. So it's just a kind of a all occasions <laughs> stamp set. We've got the thank you uh, option and um, you know all of the things. So we're gonna use the happy birthday here. And I'm gonna ink this up in this super juicy Fresh Freesia ink pad. And I'm gonna stamp it on just a scrap paper that I grabbed. And the, the beauty of die cutting <laughs> to me, especially with sentiments, I do a lot of die cut sentiments. Part of it is that it stands out a little bit more, but the other part of it is if I stamp it crooked, <laughs> you can fix it by cutting it straight, right? All right, so let's bring that die cutting machine in one more time. Okay, I do not want to lose my flower, you guys. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, oh, hey, look, I have a dog hair on here. Mm, lovely. All right, we're gonna stick it right onto here. And let's go ahead and die cut our words. Okay, my take your pick tool is being obnoxious. Okay, there we go. It just likes, it It just, it's kind of vain. It likes to be on the camera a lot, I guess. All right, I'm sliding this into place. We're gonna grab our uh, smallest nested essential dies here. And I'm gonna die cut this greeting. So if I, I got lucky and I stamped it straight, <laughs> And seriously, I mean, I was lucky. Um, if I'd gotten it crooked, no worries. I just die cut it so that the words look straight, right? All right, so I'm gonna, mm, am I centered, you guys? I think so, I think so. All right, so let's go ahead and send this through. And there we go, okay. All right. And there we have our happy birthday, right? Super cute. Um, my neighbors are hosting a wedding shower today and there's a big old party going on uh, next door. They've got uh, 80 people they're expecting. So hopefully you can't hear uh, any of that. It's not too bad uh, yet. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fold our fresh freesia. This is eight and a half by five and a half. You could score it at four and a quarter. I was too lazy to do that. So I'm just gonna use my bone folder here to give it a good crease. There we go. All right, so I've got that. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and cut our designer series paper. So I have a piece of basic white and I have my designer paper. My designer paper is three by four. My white is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And I know that seems weird, like you can see it doesn't match, but that's because we're gonna cut this into strips. So like I said, this is a great way to maximize your designer paper. We're gonna cut it apart so that it looks, uh, so we can stretch it out and it takes up more of the card. So I need to find my, ah, here it is, found it. Oh goodness, all right, found a paper trimmer. Take a sip, everyone. All right, we're going to go ahead and we are going to cut this into strips. So again, this is three by four and we're going to cut it into four one inch strips. So they're one inch by three. And I like to put them back in on the same order. This paper is called math. It's from the masterfully made designer series paper. You can see the other side is very different, <laughs> these fun colors on it. This side is a, a fresh freezer pattern with a little bit of text in the back. All right, so I've got those cut, and now we're going to uh, put it onto our cardstock, and we're going to um, space them out so they're just perfectly going to fit on here. And the last one goes right there. So when, I, when I'm doing this, I kind of like to lay it on there first, get an idea of how much um, space I can put between each of them. If, I know those just moved, but it's, it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna grab my uh, adhesive here, get it started. There we go. All 
right and we're going to go ahead and stick this down so i'm looking to have about the same amount of space above below and on the side and i'm going to do the two outside ones first my um my case for my adhesive has gotten um sticky goo inside and it's uh um making it not want to feed properly so that's all right. I need to get some goo gone out and a Q-tip and get that cleaned off. All right, there we go. We got the outside two. Now I go back and put those inside two in because I can see where where I need to be for the outside one. I hope that makes sense. So we'll put this right here. And the last one we will have right here. All right. All right. So I've got my, I call this the four in a row layout. I don't know. Because they're four and I kept them in the same general pattern. So they're in a row. So let's grab our card base here. We're going to go ahead and just pop this on. All right. So. Now there are words on here. If I can't read them, nobody else can either, but I do like to make sure that they are straight. All right. So I'm gonna center that. Got the same amount on the side, same amount on the top and bottom. And now I'm ready to add my sentiment here. So my sentiment, I'm gonna pop it up on dimensionals and I'm gonna put it right there. All right, dimensionals, dimensionals. Oh, found them, there they are. All right, take a sip while I put some dimensionals on here. I'm gonna add two to the back of that. Pull those off. And then I'm gonna put this, I'm just gonna center it um, so that the second panel in, I'm gonna center it just between those two. So it hangs off a little on each side. All right, I think that's straight. Okay, that looks good. And then let's see where well, my flower is on the post-it note right where it belongs. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick on the flower with a little mini dimensional on the back. So ooh, those might be harder to find. Hmm. Hang on, everyone. Oh, golly. I had them out last night. All right. There's more in the drawer. There's more in the drawer. Nobody crack it. Panic. Oh, yeah. Here they are. I put them back in the drawer instead of in my tray. All right. Found it, everyone. Take a sip. <laughs> What are we up to, Jennifer? Like a million sips? <laughs> All right, on the back, we're going to peel that off. And we're going to pop this on. So I'm just going to kind of rotate it till I see, you know, where I want to put it. I'm going to have the petals kind of overlapping the words a little bit. Um, it really doesn't matter. You can just kind of play around with it and see what you think looks nice. I'm going to go with that right there. So it has like a really tropical feel, doesn't it? It does to me, like it looks like something you'd see in Hawaii, does that type of flower. Um, that's just uh, uh, very tropical with that little bit darker center from our sponging. Now we're gonna add one more thing to this because I do love uh, to add some embellishments. So we're gonna do the uh, Tinsel Gems three pack. That cut one comes with Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon. And we're going to pick up, of course, some of these Fresh Freesia ones. Got my pick, take your pick tool. And I'm going to do a big one. Be right here. And then a little one. I like to do these in threes. And I kind of like to make them in a triangular pattern. So it doesn't have to be a, any kind of triangle, just any triangle. Come here, you. There we go. So I've got my triangle there of the different gems. And that just adds a little bit of sparkle. Might be hard to see on camera. I'll tilt it here. Hopefully you can see that. And then we're just going to quickly finish the inside of our card. I'm going to leave this blank for now. I could use that inside birthday message. But I am going to add a little strip of designer series paper across the bottom just to add a little decoration to the inside of the card. This is always optional, but
but you know we have a lot of these little scraps <laughs> laying around right so um or you could even do a little scrap of cardstock and um, stamp on it. So this is just with a random pattern, right? So this make your own designer paper that way. So this is a half inch by four and three quarter, no, four and five eighths, sorry. And this is four and five eighths by three and a quarter. I just mirrored that same size from the front for the inside. Of course, you can do the inside piece any size you want, but it is kind of fun to have it match the outside. We're all matchy matchy tonight. So let's pop that into place. And then I'm going to pull in that other one where I didn't sponge the center or didn't um, use the blending brushes on the center because I would love your feedback on which one you like better. So here's the one we just made tonight. And then here is the one I made earlier last night actually so this one is more soft and muted because it doesn't have that extra ink in the center everything else is identical um except for i used my older ink pad i should have reduced it it's just a little bit light on the ink for the greeting uh, but that kind of goes with the lighter flower i guess this one has a little more pop to it so which one do you prefer and you know what it's it's totally uh your choice it's your card that you're designing and you get to do it however you would like right so and then i did the insides the same on both and just left them blank so so there is our four in a row card layout you can imagine that you could do this with any designer paper decorate it any way you want but it is a great way to really maximize that designer paper because it still shows off the designer paper but it was just a three by four piece and if you're using 12 by 12 paper uh, that it gets you the most out of your paper right i am going to flip the camera here so that I can say goodbye. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback on the uh, the cards and which ones you liked better. And if you're in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group, I'll be posting these uh, photos of these tomorrow morning. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Don't forget that if you want some free project sheets in your inbox, go ahead and go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll get a, a confirmation email asking if you do indeed want the free project sheets. Once you accept that, you'll get a welcome email that I have a couple free project sheets in it to get you started right away. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. And Jennifer, thanks again for being an awesome moderator. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. I'll be back Tuesday night at 730 Central. See you then.